Does shockwave therapy hold the potential to be an effective treatment for erectile dysfunction? This question has sparked a wave of scientific studies, and while not yet FDA-approved, the results are promising. Shockwave therapy, clinically known as low-intensity shockwave therapy or LISWT, is a non-invasive procedure that has long been used in orthopedics to aid in the repair of broken bones, injured ligaments, and tendons. It's also been used to improve wound healing. The therapy employs targeted high-energy sound waves to speed up tissue repair and stimulate cell growth. So, how does this relate to erectile dysfunction? Erections rely on a healthy blood flow to the penile tissue. Shockwave therapy is seen as a means of repairing and strengthening the blood vessels in the penis, thus enhancing blood flow. This objective aligns with traditional ED treatments like sildenafil and tadalafil, which also aim to increase blood flow to the penis. The procedure involves a healthcare professional moving a wand-like device along different areas of the penis for about 15 minutes. The device emits gentle pulses, no anesthesia required, that trigger improved blood flow and tissue remodeling in the penis. These physiological changes can lead to erections sufficient for sex. The exact treatment period or frequency is not yet established. However, a review of clinical trials in 2019 found that the most common treatment plan was twice weekly for three weeks, followed by three weeks without treatments, and another three weeks of twice weekly treatments. The effects of shockwave therapy were found to last approximately a year. Who could benefit from shockwave therapy? Theoretically, anyone experiencing chronic erectile dysfunction could be a candidate. Current research suggests it may be particularly effective for vasculogenic ED, a blood vessel disorder that affects blood flow to the tissue in the penis. However, studies are mixed. Some show that LASWT is more effective in cases of mild ED, especially when used in combination with other treatments, while others suggest it works best in moderate to severe ED. The most effective way to determine whether shockwave therapy could be your key to treating erectile dysfunction is to consult with your doctor, particularly if other therapies have not been successful. In conclusion, while shockwave therapy for erectile dysfunction is not yet FDA approved, the science behind it and the results from various studies suggest it has potential. It could offer a pill-free alternative treatment, particularly for those with vasculogenic ED. As research continues, it's clear that shockwave therapy holds promise in the realm of erectile dysfunction treatment. 